I did run out of yarn here. I thought I would show you guys how I change yarn. So obviously there's not much left here. And if I think I can make it to another stitch, I will try. And sometimes it doesn't work and I just pull things back. But when I'm doing a double crochet, I do the first half. And when there's two loops, instead of using this yarn, I grab my new yarn. This is a bit short. Usually I like it a little bit longer, but taking apart the entire stitch will make it a lot longer. And I think it'll look better to have the color change when the stitch changes, because now I'll be doing single crochet. So that's why I decided to kind of um, take my chances with a relatively short tail. I will not crochet over it. I will not make a knot. What I do is I just grab this yarn and I pretend like he was the one I'm using. I'm just going to pull him up for the next, the finishing the double crochet. Make sure that the tail is long enough. These two tails, just hold them for a minute so they don't fall apart. Continue working like normal. Do a couple stitches, just enough. Now it's locked in. While you're crocheting, those little tails, they're not going to come apart. They're, they're just fine. If you want to wash your project, which I'm sure at some point you will, and you also don't need these tails flopping around, that's when you need to weave them in. You get a little needle, you weave it in, both tails, I would weave the black into the black, the blue into the blue, so they're hidden. And you want to make sure you're going through the fibers of the stitches so that it's actually stuck in there, go a few different directions, that sort of thing. Then there's no knots, and I haven't had any come apart. So that's how I change it. That's a nice, neat, you can't see that the black came through here. You just see that this looks finished and that the next one is the next color. So I'm not weaving in yet because I'm not done. I'm not, what if I had to take it apart? What if I make a mistake? So I'm not weaving in yet. I usually weave in at the end of the whole project. If it's small or if it was a blanket, I might wait five rows or something until I'm sure that I don't have any mistakes.